I will find Aya among all these endless scrolls. I find that Thanos talks too much. He has some interesting ideas. Very radical. It's almost alarming. You're right about that. But can't he express them concisely? Oh, the knowledge of the entire world is at your fingertips. Here, one can reflect upon the oppressive regime under which we find ourselves laboring. The Alexandrian poets, have I mentioned them? Are a group of dramatic artists dedicated to promoting free thinking throughout the land. No matter what the pharaoh says. Despite the fact that the ruling pharaoh is given to arbitrary and despotic decree. All right. Serapis. Now what? Ah, where is Aya? Ah, Serapis. I wrote a tragic comic pastoral epic centered on him. Ah. You're by, I guess. I am eager to see you. She said. Quickly, follow me. I am sorry, my good fellow. You appear to be drunk. This library is for serious scholars only. She is in hiding. Who are you? Ah, interested in Homeric verse, eh? This way, please. I am I.S. cousin, Phanos. Ah, yes, Phanos. Nice to meet you in person. Tell me what is happening with Aya. Why are you being so discreet? Gennadius sent his men on a house-to-house -house search. Often they drag people into the street and torture them for information. Typical of the system we live under. Gennadius. A monster. The Philakitai of Alexandria. He is ravaging the city to find her. And where is she now? I have a very powerful friend, Apollodorus. No doubt you have heard of him. I have not. You will. In any case, he made a hiding place available to Aya after she ran into trouble. But what happened? 
You do not answer me. It is a mess of political intrigue. She will explain all. Fear not. Move! Move! Look! There's Vanos! He thinks he's a poet! The modern Sophocles. You must hear his epic poem, Ode to an Anico. This is as far as I go. The way to Aya is found in the monument ahead. Right there! 